Hey YouTube, it's Pace2K here and today I'm back again with another video and uh, we're going to go ahead and get straight to part 3 of this new series that I got going on for the Indiana Pacers on 2K20, my GM 2.0, let's go ahead and get straight to it. So, first of all, I want to go ahead and do this real quick as we're going to literally have to go through all the time this is not going to change anytime soon we're literally going to have to go through this all the time and literally just change up the minutes because our coach switches them for us for some reason but yeah anyways though i actually ended up checking the first game of jabari parker and he actually i think he actually scored 20 points or something like that so that's literally insane you know definitely a really good player right there i don't really expect him to be just as good as sabonis we honestly just made that trade to get the pick and we have a lot of injuries right now that's why there's you know uh, mcdermott is starting and all those guys anyways though i do want to check in how my players are doing real quick but yeah let me go in and just fix this like i always do and i'll be right back okay so one good thing that i'm noticing is that goga bataze is actually playing a lot better than he was before so that definitely makes me a lot happier you know he was definitely not living up to his potential before so yeah definitely making me happy right there anyways though let's go ahead and also do this i did forget to do this so Victor Oladipo, Malcolm Brogdon, and then Miles Turner. Yeah, I'm honestly cool with that. I think that's definitely the order that we should go with in real life. You know, maybe TJ Warren might be in there, but yeah, TJ Warren is definitely injured in this game. So, anyways, though, we just did that. I also want to go ahead and see if our, our G League players are, you know, progressing. We have Edmund Sumner, who's got two more overalls, or I think it might be one actually. And then Elias Johnson, I think he might have improved one overall. So, they're doing okay you know they're both not very happy right now we might bring them up very soon but yeah they're definitely in the g league doing their thing and then tj warren's injured right now and he's going to be back real soon but yeah i think we can go ahead and just simulate this week and see how things go okay so we're actually losing a lot more than i thought to be honest with you and uh, our projection er earnings are going down people are getting mad at me i honestly do not know what to do at this point but yeah let's just go ahead and carry on and just see if we can do something about these wins and losses there's been some smoke lately that there are chemistry issues in your locker room what's your take on that um honestly i don't think i um do nothing is definitely not going to be an option trades talk to the players let's just talk to the players i think yeah that definitely helped everybody so i think that's the best option right there anyways though we have a trade offer from the bulls let's go in and check this out real quick all right so they want jeremy lamb and justin holiday for thad young and antonio blakeney this is actually hilarious because justin holiday used to play for the bulls last season and thad young used to play for the pacers last season as well so yeah they'd be, this would be very funny if they just did this but yeah i'm definitely not gonna take that we definitely don't need another power forward we have a lot of those we just got jabari parker and then obviously i want to keep my shooting guards or else i'm just gonna have no depth in that position position other than the victor oladipo so yeah let's go and just keep it like that so we also have a new task from our head coach let's go and see what he wants doug mcdermott is just not pulling his weight we need to get rid of him wow so he literally just wants me to destroy my team right now like he just wants me to get rid of him that's kind of crazy i'm gonna go ahead and say express doubts make promises promise to complete okay honestly i'm not gonna lie i do not care about doug mcdermott all that much you know the only thing that he really brings to our team is the spacing you know he's also a pretty good driver to the rim but that's literally it you know he doesn't bring anything other than that so honestly i'm definitely cool with just uh doing that i don't have any problems with that and it's gonna make him happy happier hopefully anyways so yeah we can go ahead and place him in the trade block i really don't care all that much about him so yeah we can go in and do that oh yeah by the way my team chemistry is at like 30 or something percent that is not very good guys i'm definitely gonna have to do something about that you know it seems like maybe i, I gotta make some trades but then again that might make it even worse so honestly i just don't know what to do this is a very very confusing you know situation to be in right now so all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and try to see if we can find a trade for doug mcdermott honestly i'm i'm really just not trying to see anything realistic i just want the best possible offer so let's go in and see i'm definitely not going to give up a, a, a second round pick for him but yeah these offers are not looking very good right now 
Okay, this honestly seems like the best offer to me. You know, you have Jarek Temple, which is definitely a very, you know, talented um, role player in my opinion, you know. He's definitely a vet, so that might actually help us with the whole uh, vet situation that we have to get. Like, I think it's two by the end of free agency. So I might actually take this deal. It's going to clear up some cap space. And then we also get a second round pick from the, either the Hawks or the Hornets. So, yeah, I mean, I, I might just honestly take this because it's definitely the best offer out of all of those. You know, I'm not going to give up a pick just to get rid of him. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that real quick. Yeah, we got rid of Doug McDermott and uh, that did actually give us a new skills point. So let's go ahead and figure out what we want to do. Okay, so honestly, I'm going to go ahead and do this one right here where you change the ticket and merch prices. And my reasoning for that is because I just want to actually be able to do that. I haven't actually done that in this game just yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and see what we can do take action so yeah we can go ahead and go to pricing and we can actually change the ticket prices which i think is really cool so yeah we have a 39 dollar ticket price or a ticket um cost right now and then our parking is ten dollars we have three different options we have the gate we also have merchandise and the confession stand so need so to unlock pricing feedback this third that's public opinion. Oh, okay. So that's actually, you know, how we get to see um, what people actually think about that. Honestly, I'm going to go ahead and make our tickets probably cost a little bit less. Yeah, let me get, let me actually make them cost a little bit less. I think $35 is better. And then team hats. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'm not really, you know, true or too uh, worried about that. You got the programs, which is free. But then, you know, hot dogs. Let's just go ahead and make everything just a little bit cheaper. Um, yeah, there we go. So apply changes. That should definitely work right there. We're going to get some XP as well. But um, yeah, I'm definitely happy with that. I just I just had to change a little bit, you know. But um, we also have a trade offer from the Hornets. Let's go and check that out real quick. Dang, look at that hair. Wow, that's a, that's a very big afro right there, my guy. But then, uh, yo, let's go and check out this trade offer from the Hornets. So we got Malik Monk and Terry Rozier for Justin Holiday and Malcolm Brogdon. Okay, so honestly, I would actually think about this. But then again, you know, we don't really need Terry Rozier like that. We definitely would like Malcolm Brogdon more than him. But then again, you got Malik Monk on the deal. Like, that's a really nice deal. I'm not going to lie. I would probably take this at the end of the day. But just because, you know, we have Malcolm Brogdon locked up and then... You know, Terry Rozier is on a pretty bad contract. You know, you can definitely argue that he is, you know, a, a decent player because he is actually, you know, averaging some, you know, pretty decent numbers compared to the years before. But I just don't really feel that comfortable taking this. I just don't know how he fit in with Victor Oladipo. And uh, I just like Malcolm Brogdon more, to be honest with you. And Malik Monk definitely makes up for that. But then again, we already have so many guards that it doesn't really matter. So I'm actually not going to take that. That deal even though if i was just playing this game you know randomly i would probably take it not gonna lie new task from our head scout let's go and see what he wants with and our roster makeup the way that it is we should aim to be one of the top 15 teams in the league okay so promise to complete express doubts honestly i'm not gonna make any promises and my reasoning for that is because we're actually lower than um 50 50 like i'm pretty sure we we have more losses than wins so i'm just not gonna go ahead and do that just in case and to be honest with you i don't even know why the head scout really cares about that you should be worried about the draft not our actual record but yeah anyways we have a new trade offer from the cavaliers as well let's go and check that out real quick so they want jeremy lamb for jordan clarkson i'm not gonna lie i would actually be you know entitled or not entitled but i would definitely think about doing this but i'm just not going to and my reasoning for that is honestly because we have jeremy lamb actually locked up for like three years and uh jordan clarkson's literally just gonna leave on you know the dot so i'm not gonna do that just because we're not literally like about to be in a winning position this season so there's really no point to you know give up a a player who's tied up for the next three years just for a player who's gonna be here for one year so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and decline this one we also have a new task from our governor let's go and see what he wants Victor Oladipo is just not pulling their weight. We need to get rid of him. Wow. So they literally want to get rid of Victor Oladipo. 
dang okay 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 i'm i'm just not gonna make any promises i'm sorry we can't do that wow that's crazy he literally wants me to get rid of victor oladipo and how is that even possible my guy is literally averaging like yeah like eight is that 18.6 guys i'm very far away from the screen i can't really see all that well i think it's about 18 or 19 points so yeah i mean how can you not say that he's pulling his weight he literally just got back from injury right well technically not in this game in this game he didn't even have the injury but yeah that's crazy how are you gonna say that bro i did i don't even know what to say to that that's crazy oh my goodness bro tj mcconnell's back at it again with the coach just giving him minutes for no reason i hate that so much how this game just does that on its own when you set prices for tickets food and merchandise how concerned are you with making the product affordable for fans versus turning a profit i actually made it fan value a whole lot so let me go ahead and just say that you know uh vi yeah everybody just got happy that's that's actually crazy so yeah I'm, I'm just gonna say that uh answer from now on but yeah we just leveled up as well let's go and see what we want to upgrade from the skills tree okay so i'm gonna go ahead and see pricing feedback right now go ahead and take this because i actually want to see what people are thinking about the prices i think that's definitely important right there especially because we ended up getting this uh this uh skill point earlier so yeah i definitely think this is gonna help us a lot and uh we'll be able to see what people actually think about it so i decided to actually make a brand new sponsorship with g fuel so we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick and then uh yeah that's gonna be our second sponsorships i believe after we got the jordan one in the first episode i think so let's go and do that real quick so our projected earnings are actually going down or not down but up a lot for some reason i'm not really sure maybe it was the whole business thing that we did but yeah it's going up a lot 1.4 million dollars and then our weekly score is also going up so that's good but the people keep on getting mad at me you know everybody just doesn't like me for some reason in this game but anyways let's go and move on obviously there's been some talk of potential trades how do you worry about keeping this sort of thing out of the press okay so you know there's the whole victor oladipo trade thing so i'm just gonna say simply business i remember in the other 2ks that usually worked out so yeah it just made the governor go down a little bit and also made the gm go up so you know that's that's probably a good thing one more question jeremy lamb has been v pretty vocal about it, that he wants to be a starter so why why hasn't that happened yet I'm going to go ahead and say no comment, or I might honestly say role change. No, let's just say no comment. Okay, so yeah, that, that just made him go up, so there's really nothing wrong with that. I'm definitely cool with that. That'll, that'll do it for today. Thanks for telling talking to us. Okay, so that's it for the press. So as far as our games right now, you know, we lost to the Raptors, we lost to Miami, and then we beat the Pelicans. We also beat the Sixers, and we lost to the Nuggets and the Hawks. You know, that's, that's as far back as I remember me simulating. I'm not sure if I talked about the other games because it's just been so long. But anyways, though, you know, if Victor Oladipo isn't doing all that well right now. And the main reason why is because I think the governor said that I needed to trade him or something like that. You know, it's been a little bit, you know, I've, uh, the last time that I played this was like yesterday. So this is like two different days. But anyways, um, yeah, he's like uneasy, as you can see right there. His mood isn't all that good. His trust isn't either so we might honestly have to trade victor and that'd be crazy but i'm gonna try my best not to do that so i just simulated a little bit and we lost to the hornets we beat the heat we lost to the bulls we lost to the sixers we also lost to the timberwolves or we won against the timberwolves and then we won against them once again and then we lost against the nuggets so yeah our record's not really looking all that good right now i can't really see it from down here i'm like far away but anyways it's like 18 25 something like that so yeah we're not doing all that well and uh you know hopefully we can pick it up um, i honestly don't think we're gonna make the playoffs you know this 2k engine is just so terrible because in real life this team is so good but anyways though um yeah let me go and check the sleek standings real quick to see where we're at yeah that's crazy we're literally in the downside of the entire conference like that is so unrealistic for the Otherwise, pace i fixed up the uh, uh the starting lineup a little bit so now we have brogdon 
Victor Oladipo, TJ Warren came back from his injury, and then we also have Jabari Parker, Miles Turner, and then Jeremy Lamb's our sixth man as usual, and then Justin Holiday's getting some minutes still, and then TJ McConnell actually got the, the minutes over Aaron Holiday because in this game, Aaron Holiday is just terrible. His efficiency is insanely bad, and then TJ Leaf's getting some minutes, and Goga Bataze is also getting some you know decent rookie minutes right there, even though he's not playing all that well. But yeah, I, I think this rotation is pretty good for now, and hopefully it's going to get us to win some more games. Quick reminder that the trade deadline is coming up. Okay, so yeah, let's go and continue the simulation, but we do have to keep that in mind like he said. We also have a trade offer from the Magic. Can we stop simulation real quick and then see what that's all about? I guess we can't. Okay, so we have to literally wait. But yeah, we our projected earnings are going up. That's good. You know, they were going down previously. I didn't really mention it. But yeah, we have two, two or two trade offers from the Bulls and also the Magic. So they want Malcolm Brogdon and Justin Holiday for Evan Fournier and Nikola Mirotic. So we're not going to do this at all. This is a terrible deal. Yeah, I I just I hate the trades in this like new mode because it never it's never realistic. But anyways, let's go and check out the Bulls one. And then I think we have a new task with Gatorade that we have to do. They want Jeremy Lamb for a first round pick and Cristiano Felicio. I'm See, I would actually do it for like a 2020 first round pick and it would have to be like a top five protected. I would do that. I would seriously do that. Top five protected. And uh, we obviously get uh, the pick this year. So then we can we can get the lottery pick like we needed to be a lottery pick, I believe. So and uh, if they're actually doing good, then we can go ahead and just probably trade it, that pick up with another player. So I would do this right here. I would seriously do this. You know, I wouldn't really like Cristiano Felicio. Is there anybody else that I could get? like maybe uh, a shooting guard or something to replace jeremy lamb i could honestly try to get thomas uh Sanareski's, i think how you pronounce his name but anyways i think i can get him because he's not really doing all that well with them you know you look at his per 36 he's only averaging like nine points per game and uh, that's per 36 and chris dunn is doing a lot better so yeah i think kobe white's also playing well yeah he is so i think i might try to get him is that gonna work maybe we're not interested in this trade but we have a counter offer okay so cristiano felicio and he wants a first round pick from us and garrett temple yeah that's not gonna work buddy so i guess we're not gonna do that trade because yeah honestly jeremy lamb for i i probably should have done that trade i'm not gonna lie i probably should have done that trade but you know we didn't do it so it's whatever We've actually gotten a lot more, you know, ever since the Nuggets won. We're on a four-game win streak, like Gatorade said. So we beat the Jazz, we beat the Suns, we also beat the Warriors and the Trailblazers. So let me go ahead and actually go to our stats and go and show you guys how our players have been doing. So we have Victor Oladipo. He's averaging 17 and a half on, you know, some some decent efficiency. His uh, his free throw percentage isn't really all that or the all that good. We also have Miles Turner who's doing really well. He's definitely improved a lot. And then Malcolm Brogdon's doing his thing. The thing about Jabari Parker is he honestly has some great numbers. You know, if, it, if you honestly just look at his career, he has some great numbers, but he honestly isn't all that good of a player besides this season right here. He's honestly just more of an average player. You know, his defense isn't all that good either. So honestly, I'm not really that impressed with that. And then TJ Warren's actually playing pretty bad. I'm not going to lie, his three point has definitely dipped down a lot back to what he used to do and you know I don't expect him to do this you know this season but like come on at least be close to it you're definitely a lot better of a three-point shooter now so I, I don't really understand why the game made him so bad like that anyways though J J or I was about to say Jabari Parker now but Jeremy Lamb he's doing pretty good um, you know his efficiency from three could get better but you know for a six man that's not bad that's definitely pretty decent right there Aaron Holiday's doing terrible Justin Holiday's doing you know pretty bad it, it's pretty much our entire bench who's not really all that good besides Jeremy Lamb you know TJ Leaf is definitely dipped down a lot from where he started in the beginning of the season yeah he's definitely not playing like that anymore and then Goga Bataze is doing pretty bad but then again he is a rookie right now so you know more of the story 2k is not realistic at all but anyways though let me go ahead and uh 
I'm, I think I'm gonna keep simulating all the way to the uh, trade deadline and then we'll see if we do any trades so these are the all-stars for the 2020 all-star game and uh, we have LeBron James James Harden Damian Lillard Anthony Davis and Kawhi Leonard starting on the western side and then for the eastern we have Kevin Durant as the captain and then Giannis Antetokounmpo we also have Joel Embiid and then Kyrie Irving and Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons actually made it. So that's definitely pretty crazy right there. But um, I don't think we have anybody on our team. Yeah, Victor does not seem to be up there. So uh, the Pacers definitely took an L right there. Yeah, um, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do the draft. I'm just going to auto draft to be honest with you. We leveled up to seven. Okay, so let's go and check out what we can do on the skills tree. Over here increases staff trust gain. Let's go and do this real quick because I definitely need that. You know, our staff is constantly mad at us. So yeah, that's definitely a good idea right there. I just realized too that Victor Oladipo is injured. So that's definitely gonna, you know, not help us with the whole winning game situation. But I'm definitely not just gonna give that to TJ McConnell. Like I said, I really wish the coach would just tell us, you know, when things are happening. But yeah, Jeremy Lamb, you're gonna go and get the minutes. And then, you know, uh, Brogdon, you can go ahead and just go off with those minutes i'm also going to give uh, miles turner some more minutes and we're just going to pretty much increase everybody's um you know minutes right there in the lineup and then tj mcconnell you can go ahead and keep your 15 minutes per game uh tj lee if you're gonna go ahead and go down a little bit because you're definitely not as good as you as you were in the start of the season aaron holiday yeah he's doing slightly better let me just give him like 15 minutes and then garrett temple yeah he's still not doing all that you know good enough for me to be happy with him justin holiday you're like the slightly better version of G garrett temple so i'm just gonna go ahead and give you some minutes and then um yeah i think that's good right there i don't really know what else to do oh yeah goga let's go and give goga some minutes he's he's still doing just as bad which is really annoying but i'm honestly just gonna give him more minutes so he just gets more experience and then i think we might be good let me let me go in and give like justin holiday maybe a little bit more minutes so yeah I, th I think i'm cool with that lineup right there you know our bench is still terrible and now it's gonna get even worse but let me go and give brogdon the main role and then also miles the second role and i think jabari parker might be our third best offensive player so yeah let's go and try this lineup out for you know um the like three more days that we have left of the calendar before um the trade deadline so yeah by the way we ended up losing it against the bulls we also lost against the knicks and uh we lost against the mavs and then we finally beat the raptors so you know our record's still look looking pretty bad we're five games behind of being 50 50 so you know we're not really doing all that good but anyways, though, the trade deadline is literally tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I want to make any trades and then I'll be right back. OK, so I've pretty much decided that I'm going to have to trade either TJ Warren or Jeremy Lamb. You so, know, I'm also thinking about doing Justin Holiday because he only has one year left. So it made it would make sense for me to go ahead and get, you know, rid of him so we can get some value for him because he's probably not going to resign with us even though he is kind of neutral right now but yeah let's go and just trade jeremy lamb and uh we can go ahead and go from there so i think this might be the best trade we have the detroit pistons for a first round pick in 2021 and then also links in galloway so what i think i might do is i'm gonna first of all try to make this 2020 he's not interested okay so you know, we got Garrett Temple that he wants. And then for Tony Snell, I might honestly, you know, give him a pick. So I might honestly just give him that pick. Let's see if he honestly just accepts that. That'd be really nice. Okay, so he did. He actually did it. So we we just traded away Jeremy Lamb for Langston Galloway in a first round pick in 2020 from the Pistons. I don't actually know if they're a lottery team. Let me go in and check that real quick. You know, I still think we won that trade anyways. You know, they're they're not all that great. They're definitely a good team, but they're not like top of the top. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I might honestly have to trade that pick once again, you know, come draft time. And we might have to, you know, maybe only get one out of, one out of the two lottery picks that we were supposed to get. But, yeah, anyways, though, I think we definitely did our job, job right there. You know, we came out on top, I think, in that trade. And uh, Jeremy Lamb didn't want to really be here on this game. So I think it was definitely smart of me to do that. 
but anyways though i think this might be it i'm actually gonna do this as well real quick so i don't know if you guys noticed but the uh oh everybody's starting to go up i think that's honestly because of the jeremy lamb trade i think nobody really wanted him on the team which is kind of funny but yeah we have allies johnson right here who i'm gonna call up and then we also have you know edmund sumner who i want to call up as well there. honestly oh. maybe goga but then again we need us we, we definitely need a center i'm gonna 100 send him aaron holiday because he's just not doing all that well you know looking at his numbers He's definitely not doing as good as he should be. And then TJ, or not TJ, but T, yeah, TJ Leaf. Honestly, I might send him as well and then have Allies Johnson play. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that actually. So let, let's go and just try that out. And then, you know, in the next video, we can go in and try out that lineup. But yeah, let me go and just preview the lineup real quick just to see how it actually turns out. And uh, we did not get a f get rid of, you know, Victor Oladipo how he wanted us to. But let me go ahead and, you know, just try out that lineup that I was talking about. So we have definitely not TJ McConnell. Let me go ahead and, you know, fix this real quick. So I'm going to try this lineup right here. We have Malcolm Brogdon and then Justin Holiday, TJ Warren, uh, Jabari Parker, Miles. L I was about to say Miles Leonard. Wow. I meant to say Miles Turner and then also TJ McConnell, you know, Jarrett Temple. And then we also have Langston Galloway, Goga Batadze, Allies Johnson. And then I might honestly give Edmund Sumner some minutes, but that all depends on how good Langston Galloway and uh, Justin Holiday and also Garrett Temple are for us. So yeah, if they're not all that good, then I'm going to take away their minutes and give it to Edmund Sumner. But anyways, though, I think this lineup might work a little bit. You know, we're definitely not a better team after that trade, but we're honestly just looking at the future for this team. So yeah, our record's also not that good, but honestly, I'm just happy that we're actually in the playoff hunt. So yeah, that's also a good thing. But anyways, though, if you did enjoy this video, then make sure to leave a like, subscribe as well, and uh, I'll see y'all boys out.